All right, YouTube, welcome back to another Chem Complete lesson. I'm Professor Tomney, and we're going to be doing a review session today. What we're looking at are several organic compounds, and this is meant to complement the functional group lecture. So you want to make sure that you go back and familiarize yourself or watch the identification of functional groups lecture. It is very, very important, I stress this in the other video, to be able to pick out and identify functional groups in organic compounds. So I've given you four different organic compounds here. Your goal is to go through and circle every potential functional group and then name that functional group. And I would suggest that you try this first before looking at the answers like usual. Pause the video and I will see you guys in just a minute so that we can go over the answers. All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm going to change to red ink here as we are going through so it's easier to identify. So in problem one, there were a couple of functional groups. This guy right here you should have caught as a carboxylic acid. I am going to abbreviate just because of space around these molecules. So that would be a carboxylic acid. Right here, you find an alkyl halide. Right here, you find an aromatic and right here you have an amine remember that the aromatics have the alternating double bonds that form benzene like this okay so those should be the four that you came up with in that group for the next one right here we've got an alcohol this portion right here we've got an ether and right here we have an alkyne. That triple bond is an alkyne. Even though this is a five-membered functional, uh, I'm sorry, not functional group, even though this is a five-membered ring, it is not aromatic just because it's a ring. This would just be a regular hydrocarbon or an alkane. You did not have to list this, and in fact, I usually encourage my students not to list alkanes because anything could be an alkane. You could come up to this portion here and say this was an alkane. Any hydrocarbon is considered an alkane. So if you circled this and you named it, it should be alkane, if anything, all right? In number three, we've got an alkene, most definitely. We've got another alkyl halide over here. And this portion right here, we have an aldehyde. Okay, so those would be the three you find there. And in this final one at the bottom, I have a thiol right here. Keep in mind, this is not aromatic. This would be alkene. So I go over this in the lecture, but just so we're clear here one more time, the only time you're going to have an aromatic ring is when you have the six membered ring with the alternating double bonds all the way around. And this is benzene. Now there are other aromatic rings. However, we are not going to talk about them until you get far enough into organic chemistry too. And then finally, if you're working with this one, this guy right here would be considered an ester functionality. So hopefully you guys were able to get those and you came up with the right answers. Continue to practice this. I will probably post one other practice video on this because I know it is one of the, I guess, first transitions into organic chemistry that we have at the beginning of organic one. We're moving more away from general chemistry with like hybridization molecular geometry and into a realm of its own. So I will try to get another practice video posted up for you guys with this. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you found the video useful, and I will see you guys for the next lesson. Thanks a lot.